to bring you a little chip on your shoulder? I mean, a little bit. You know, I certainly want to prove that I'm a worthwhile player, but you know, you can't let that bog you down if you let that. If you let something like that, you know, cons consume you and ruin your, you know, mentality, you're not going to play as good as you would have otherwise. Caleb, okay, what do you feel like coming into camp? You needed to be better at, it. and where do you feel like you're at right now? Everything, man. It, you know, no matter how good you are, there's always things to improve. I've, you know, been working to improve pass blocking, run blocking, uh, call making. You know, when there's adjustments need to be made. Uh, Pre-snap, you know, all of it, and all, all everything that can be improved needs to be. Improved. How much different is it with the guys coming at you this year with all the new faces on the defense? I mean, you know, from a tackle perspective, you know, there's only there's only so many moves in the book, and throughout the course <laughs> of the year, you see them all. So, I mean, you know, it's, you're still on an island, so you know, you kind of do what you do. Uh, I think our D-line group is really good. They're really stout, and you know, there's a lot of. Uh, a lot of ability and a lot of drive there, and so it's been good competition, I think. Earlier in the offseason, there was a pitcher out there that was posted. You look like the Incredible Hulk, right? You, <laughs> you had all these muscles bulging, and, and everybody's like, man, look at McGarry, he looks like a beast. Did you do anything with your strength training? Uh, I mean, I strength trained throughout, throughout the offseason like everybody. Just happens to be a picture I was taking at the right time, I think. And <laughs> I know I'm not exactly going to complain was, about that. That was not Photoshopped. Huh? <laughs> no, it was not Photoshopped. You, you would be able to tell if it was Photoshopped, I assure you. <laughs> okay, Thor, one more question. <laughs> uh, any difference in what they're asking you to do with the way uh, they're saying more mobility with the quarterbacks moving around? Is that, are you seeing that already in practice? Yeah, you know, having a quarterback that, you know, where, where running is, you know, really a part of his game and a part of the threat he brings. Uh, you know, I, I assume Coach is going to make that more part of the game plan, but I, you know, I, as the big ugly up, up front, they tell me to hit that guy, and that's what I do. Caleb, is Jake talking about anything? He's the elder statesman on this whole line. Is he giving you any advice going into this, uh, this camp? In the famous words of Jake Matthews, do good, not bad. <laughs> Caleb, I'm Thanks, sorry Thanks, if you asked this earlier, but what is it like with so much competition on the offensive line right now? I mean, you know, it's it is what it is. It's you know we can't afford to, you know, spend you know waste time thinking about you know people after my job, people are after me, you know, whatever. You got to kind of have to let that go and just show up and work your you know work your tail off every day as hard as you can, strain and strive to be the best player you can be, and you know it. Leave it, in the, leave it in the hands of the man upstairs. Otherwise, you're just going to get bogged down with ifs, ands, and buts, and honestly, your play will probably tank. Arthur Smith, a former offensive lineman, what exactly does he say that he's looking for from you guys? I mean, you know, he wants he wants a bunch of good dudes that perform well. You know, he wants the right guys, and that's what we're all striving to be. We all want to be the right guys. Is there is there a collective message along the offensive line? Like, look, we got to be better this year. There needs to be a jump from last year to this year. Is there a collective message that anyone has told you? Oh, always. I mean, we, you know, we could have been the top line last year, and we'd still say we need to improve, we need to keep working. And that's kind of the, you know, asterisk in our profession. You know, we, we're at the top of our respective food chain in football, right? But that doesn't mean any one of us knows it all. It doesn't matter how good you are. There's always things to improve. Up until this point in your career, you heard one voice in the huddle breaking things down. What's been the transition like with Marcus and his command inside when you guys huddle around him? Good. I think he's a great quarterback. He's a great guy. You know, I never thought I'd be happy to see a duck on my team, but you know, uh, here we are. And you know, I'm. I mean, I'm. I'm happy to see him. I think everybody else is. I think he's doing a hell of a job. And, you know, we're going to rock and roll with what we got. Some friendly trash talk throughout the college football season, I'm feeling. Oh, of course. I mean, it's you can't be helped. It's almost required. What are you looking forward to when I talk to you three weeks from now? You'd say it was a successful camp because what? What defines, in your mind, a successful camp? Just feeling like I improved, feeling like I grew as a player and as a person. And if that if that happens from year to year, then, you know, I'm on the right track, whatever that may be. We saw the, kind of like a pretty brief one-on-one -on -one session. You guys lined up against the D-line, and everybody's kind of huddling around. Is that what you guys kind of get you guys going? Because it seems like these, these camps are just mundane, right? Just you know, drill after drill. But are those one-on-one -on -one opportunities which you guys kind of get up for a camp? I mean, that's part of the test, right? Camp is a very long time. It's, you know, six or whatever weeks. That's, that's a long time to be in the same place doing the exact same thing every single day. That's, that's part of the test. That's part of what the coaches want to see. Are you someone that bogs down or are you someone that, you know, despite how you feel, despite, you know, how bad you want to go home, despite, you know, all the things going on, how tired you are, are you going to show up? Are you going to work? Are you going to, you know, keep going day in and day out? And, you know, really, you, sh you shouldn't have to be, a, you shouldn't be a guy that people have to get up for practice. Like practice is practice. You show up to work and that's, that's what it is. There's up days, there's down days, but you should always show up ready to work. We do get a little excited about it. <laughs> Thanks, buddy.